my neighbor up here up the lake had uh, it's got a smaller older push mower inside the shed and but they also had this old Toro key electric you know self uh, propelled uh, old mower and at the time you know she wanted to know if we could get it running if it was any good or if to, just to junk it and as you can see it didn't have the pull on here the pull assembly uh, not sure whatever happened to that and then I checked out to see what the deal was with the uh, starting system and this was the battery that they ha used to have in these things and I actually cut this ap apart you'll see why in a minute but I cut this to make a another battery box these old are basically like D-sized batteries uh, gates sealed rechargeable batteries were inside here and then it had a charger which who knows where that charger went uh, and it would sit up inside up near the handle and uh, that was all gone <clears throat> so just to see if this thing would actually work I brought a car battery over here and hooked everything up with uh, some jumper cables and was able to start it and the at first it had no spark so try to figure out what was the deal was and then it had a uh, wire here that was pretty uh, beat up and it was split a little bit so I cut that out and put uh, another section in and then as soon as I did that uh, no no problem getting spark so that was step one once you did that I drained out the old fuel put some new fuel in it made sure it had oil in it and then hooked it up to the car battery and it fired up so <clears throat> then the problem became can you find these and if they didn't have a charger what good was it going to be so that we could get replacements for and it was about 90 bucks to get the replacement and as you can see with this old mower not really worth it so I cut out the top piece of that battery box the original one that fits into the mountings up here and just up here at the lake we use what we have which I had some old flashing sitting around that was in the shed and made a battery box for it so it goes into the original place and we ordered a $20 motorcycle battery and so now all I have to do is I'll tidy up this wiring after but I want to make a setup so she can easily charge it connect the charger to it unhook this put the ends in here hook it up to a regular uh, battery charger charge this battery so now let me move this stuff out of the way Now, now she's got a working self-propelled uh, mower that's going to make it much easier for her to mow the property up here. And it didn't cost her anything, you know, 20 bucks for a battery. So it's a bear, to be honest. This thing, I mean, it, it, uh, you put this thing in speed, it'll drag you right along. So you're almost best off just using this in first uh, low speed under your ground speed. Uh, other than that, it works really good. So if you do come across one of these older ones and decide that you don't want to spend that money on that battery pack, you know, like I said, find yourself a nice little motorcycle battery, check the dimensions. I'll go back and look to see if I can find the one I used and uh, I'll put it, the link to it down in the, in the description and it was just off Amazon uh, like I said it was about 20 bucks delivered you can just make a quick modification put it in uh, up into your uh, original mounting spot for your handle just wire in real quick the new end make a couple new ends that can connect to the battery and done deal Hope that helps anybody else that has some of these old key electrics uh, going around here because they're actually decent mowers. They're, uh, like I said, it's quite a, quite a workhorse.
All right. Thanks for watching.